What's going on people? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, so this is my reaction now to um, Patrick Vieira has been sacked as Crystal Palace manager. Um, it has been coming. The start of 2023 has been really unacceptable. Um, a change really did need to be made um, for my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people do find it harsh. I don't find it harsh whatsoever. Um, I feel he's very not been getting the best out of these players whatsoever. Um, but then again, also, I think the board has got to take serious responsibility. Um, the factor of the matter is, you know, they've not invested, you know, they've not helped to invest with Vieira on players. And, you know, a majority of our squad is championship based, I feel personally. I don't feel we've got enough quality in certain spaces. It will be very tough to stay up towards the end of the season. Um, considering the fact that, you know, we've got 11 games to go. I feel like I completely agree with Steve Parrish. You know, we need to make a change now before it's too late. And I said, literally on my Twitter page, I literally said, sack him now before it's too late, you know. And I felt like, you know, a lot of fans wanted him out after that Brighton disappointment because we should have won that game. You know, the first half, first 10 minutes... We should have been two or three goals up and, you know, they would have struggled to come back into the game. You know, the fact of the matter is we can't score at the moment. And that's been a big problem that Vieira has failed to um, rectify. But it's been a problem for years, you know. I feel that, personally, I feel Vieira was not the right man for the job in the first place. I was happy with what he did for the first year. You know, getting us to an FA Cup semi-final, more than I expected. You know, more than I absolutely expected to get to lose to Chelsea was no, um, no shame whatsoever. But who's going to take the job now? I mean, this is an impossible job, really, for whoever takes this job next. I'm even seeing rumours that Roy Hodgson is being linked back to the job. Why? Why would we go back to that? You know, why would we go back to? having a disappointment of a manager, personally, you know, he would keep us up. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I do think he would keep us up. But is he the long-term solution? I don't think so. I really, really do not think he is the, the problem, the, the solution to the problem. The problem is, you know, whoever we get next, they're going to have a very, very difficult job. Very difficult job of keeping this team up in the league, because Zaha's going to go next this the end, at the end of this year. Um, I don't think he will sign a new contract with us, and that's a hard problem to replace. You know, I mean, Ayu's got two goals in ninety. Uh, Mateta's got two goals in thirty-two or something stupid. Um, Edouard's only got two goals this entire year. You know, it's a huge, huge problem. And, you know, rumours of, um, you know, Hodgson coming back, I don't think that would help. I really do not think that would help this club right now. Um, it's really, really unsettling, to put, to put it bluntly. Um, one one manager I definitely do not want back is, I uh, do not want to come in is Lampard. He would not help us whatsoever. He almost ruined Everton, personally, in my opinion. Um, Hassan Hutal has been linked. Um, who else has been linked? Um, Bielsa has been linked. Marsh has been linked. Um, it'll be a very, very tough um, few months to whoever gets appointed because now they've really got to go and have a real think about who could save this club. Because um, if we do go to the down to the championship, I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world. I know we would get parachute payments, but it would be a real test to come back up from the championship um I, I i just don't know what to say right now i'm really really upset um about what's going on at the club you know eight teams are real fighting to stay up this season um us in 12th to southampton who are bottom is just five points you know from 12th to 20th is five points that's how close it is and that's a big big concern so I personally feel whoever gets this job, it's an impossible job, you know. Let me know let me know down in the comments down below, guys, who you want to see as the next Crystal Palace manager. 
Um, for me, I do not want to see Roy Hodgson back. As much as I really appreciate what he's done, I, pr I thank him for what he's done. He would not be the solution to the problem. He would not be the man, you know, for the future. He'd be the man just for the now, and that's it. You know, we need a manager who is capable of avoiding relegation on a permanent basis. Because, you know, I've grown up my whole life pretty much, you know. You know, you know, my whole 18 years of supporting Palace, I've pr seen 10 of them, 10 to 11 of them in the Premier League. So for us to go back to the Championship would be real a step back as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, it is very, very worrying. So let me guys, let me, let me guys break it down how bad this um, 2023 has been. No wins in 2023. I was going to say no shots on target, but obviously we had three shots on target against Brighton. Um, no goals in f in five games now. Um, no win in eleven. Um, this it's it's the never ending list. Only Southampton, Bournemouth, and Wolves have scored fewer goals than us um, in the entire year. We've only scored twenty one goals in twenty seven games, and that is a big big problem. Whoever gets this job really does need to get those strikers firing because we've got no attacking threat. And personally, I do feel like we could go down this year. And that I think that would be a massive shame, you know, with the club and the way we've been run these last couple of years. But I do feel the board needs to take responsibility, you know, for leaving um, Vieira in charge for so long. Personally, I don't feel like he should have been in charge for that long, you know. Personally, maybe I would have given him one more game at the Arsenal at the weekend and then change it. But they've decided to change it now. And um, hopefully that's the right decision. So let me guys let me guys know who you want in the comments down below. Make sure you hit this like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will be sure to react to whoever we do get as new manager of the club very, very shortly. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you leave this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you for Operation um, the Game Week preview against Arsenal tomorrow. That will be out tomorrow. Uh, I will look to film that probably, you know, lunchtime in the afternoon again. Um, so let me know who you, let me know who you want as manager, and I will see you soon.